Sea of Thieves is a game of many elements. From storytelling, to treasure hunting, to PvPing, you name it, Sea of Thieves likely has it. Today we're going to be focusing on the PvP aspect, but more so how to find it. Because if you've ever attempted to find enemy ships in this game, the likelihood is you would be more successful at asking your crush out on a date. And we all know how that would go. Remember, up until December, every video I release, I will be giving away a few Obsidian six packs to some of you in the comments as an early Christmas holiday present. So, you know, just leave a comment saying something like big feet equals big socks. Why did I write this in the script? Just leave a comment saying some tips you may have that I might not have mentioned or how long you've been playing the game. That that's that's a better comment. Oh, and while you're being an obedient little kitten, go ahead and subscribe for me. It helps out a lot, and I really want to take this thing full time, and you can directly help me with that, so thank you. Anyway, I've wasted enough time on this intro, so the remaining 2% of you watching, let's get into it. The first piece of advice I have for you is to check for emissary ships on the outpost that you spawn on. I didn't know this for a while after the initial update of emissaries, but if you head on over to any of the four factions at the outposts, not including the sovereigns, and take a peek at the table next to them where you vote to raise an emissary, there may be some small wooden ships. The number of these ships represents how many ships on your server are representing that faction as an emissary. So if you're trying to hunt down Athenas, you'll be server hopping looking for those wooden ships next to the mysterious stranger. As a little bonus sub tip, if you see an Athena emissary, the likelihood is they're doing a Legend of the Veil, vale, so look into the distance for those green tornadoes, and if you can't see any of them, then the likelihood is they'll be down at Thieves Haven doing a Thieves Haven run. Likewise, for gold hoarders, you'll want to check the Vault Islands, such as Kraken's Fall or Crescent Isle. Merchant Alliance, you'll want to check the outposts for commodity runners, or you will want to head near the middle of the map, as typically you will see one of the lost shipment routes from here. For Order of Souls emissary ships, well, just good luck my friend, who knows where that special breed could be. This leads me on to the most popular, well-known method on the list, server hopping. Essentially, this is loading into a server, checking for emissaries, reaper's marks, or fort of the damned, and then just leaving if there's none of those on the server, or just nothing interesting going on. It's basic, it's fast, it's easy, but much like everything PvP oriented, you just need luck on your side. Portal hopping is a slower version of server hopping. You're still switching servers and still finding new people, but the main difference is, you'll be keeping your emissary flag, if you have one, and all of the resources you have on your ship. Though this is only really useful for finding reaper flags since you will not spawn at an outpost. The way it is performed is by voting on tool tail 1 or 3 of the pirate's life tool tails, going through the spawned portal, loading into the tail, cancelling the tool tail, and then boom, after about the time it would take to curl one out, you should be on a new server. It's a lot slower, taking 5 minutes minimum with good load times, but obviously has the added benefits that I just listed. Another quick bonus tip, go to the sea dogs tavern at night, run to the very top, and skip Scan around for ship lights and silhouettes of other ships. This is central in the map and gives a good radial view of the whole map. Also, if your game somehow bugs out, you can get this insane view which makes finding ships a lot easier. This next tip is complementary to finding PvP, looking for Reaper's Bones emissaries and Reaper's Marks. If someone on your server is representing the Reaper's Bones as an emissary, the likelihood is they will be looking to PvP. Sorry, ignore that, I forgot how the players in this game work. Rewind. The likelihood is they're sitting there eating Cheetos, doing world events and arguing with their mum. But hey, it's the easiest way to find someone else on the server since you can see them on the map and what grade they are, which indicates the potential amount of loot on their ship. Likewise, the Reaper's Marks is the poor man's Reaper's Bones, where sometimes someone is looking for players to come over, though 9 times out of 10 it's a new player who thought it looked cool. Next up is a quick tip. Scan the map for moving Reaper's Chests, Reaper's Bounties or Fort Keys. This indicates player activity and will lead you directly to people. This one is more of a general tip, which can be used to avoid PvP, but also to find it. Going to popular areas on the map, such as the Shores of Plenty. It's a nice colourful area and people like being here. The Ancient Isles is mega popular due to it having the Fort of the Damned, many tall tale locations, common voyage locations, and I personally always seem to spawn a damn ancient spire, so you'll definitely find me there. Reaper's Hideout is also a hotspot, it's central in the map and gives clear view of the surroundings and you know, people sometimes sit there and camp for other reapers coming to sell. World events are typically a hotspot too, since it's probably the best gold earner in the game and more fun than most voyages, so you can bet yourself you'll run into some 8 year olds to dunk on. 
The final tip I advise is representing the Reaper's bones as an emissary. Reaper hopping is a pretty good strategy that people do, so if you think about it, other people who are looking for PvP will be doing the server hopping technique that I mentioned earlier on. So if you can't be bothered to sit around and server hop, and you just want to raise an emissary flag as a Reaper's, go around doing world events and quests and whatnot to earn gold while waiting for PvP, that's a decent strategy that is very viable. On top of this, you can also get grade 5 and find any emissary on your server's location just by looking at the map. So while sitting around and waiting, you can also be going out and hunting. So you're basically doing two things which are both helping you at finding PvP at once. That's about the only ways to find others in Sea of Thieves. Hopefully you've learned something new and if you have, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. I try and bring the most helpful Sea of Thieves content I can while hopefully not being too boring. Much love you guys and check out my other videos for more information on the game.